Good morning, everybody. So I am in Vermont and um, so the lighting is a little different, but I think you can see me and hear me. And um, I think I recognize all those names, everyone. But if you are new and we haven't met, I'm Pat Salner. Good morning, Timothy. Hi, nice to see you. Welcome. So double check that you're in a chair. Hi, how are you? Um, that you're seated in a chair without arms. It makes it easier to do most of the arm movements. Um, if you're able to practice barefoot, that's the best. We're gonna be doing a little bit of foot massage and also really better to be able to grip the floor in front of you. Um, I'm on a wood floor, but I have my yoga mat down in front of me so I can really sort of wiggle my toes and I feel secure. But if you're on a firm floor like wood um, or tile, that will work equally well. So um, I have a few of my family members here in person. They're behind um, my screen and <clears throat> doing chair yoga with us today. If you have a yoga block, have that nearby. If you don't have a yoga block, I know I've said it before, but just paper towel is a great prop if you don't have a yoga block. So when we do some of our leg moves, you can place the, the towel roll between your legs like that, just like you would a yoga block. Or the other thing you can use your, your towel, paper towel roll for, is to place it at your low back on your chair if your chair is too deep and you don't happen to have a pillow. So pillow, yoga block, paper towel roll. The other thing, if you happen to have either a beach towel or a blanket, that can get rolled behind you and also fill up some of the space if you need it, if your chair is too deep for your the body. Okay, my clock. All right, we will get started. So good morning. And if you wanna give me a smile by flipping on your camera, great. If not, I'll know, I'm hoping you've got a smile on your face and that the day is starting off well for you. All right, so let's sit tall in our chair, wiggle in just a little bit side to side, maybe lift one hamstring, one leg a little bit and the hip feeling sit bones anchoring into your chair. And after you've done that, feel the rib cage lift out of the waist, maybe even by putting your hands at your waistline and putting the thumb and index pushing in just gently to feel like you could lift the rib cage. wiggle a little bit more forward just to get that nice shape rib cage lifted up belly pulled in widen the collarbones and now you can close your breath close your eyes and let's focus in on our breath place one hand on the heart and one on the low belly nice long inhales through the nostrils lifting the chest as you take in that breath hold it and then exhale long and slow out through the mouth. <sighs> Let it be audible. Inhale and exhale, your count. Take in the breath you need, good air. Exhale what you don't need. Continuing with our breath and in your mind's eye, Place yourself in a pleasing and peaceful place. Inhale and exhale. And it might be just where you are or maybe a place that you go to on vacation. A place that is special. It's a place that makes you relax. Put a smile on your face. 
inhale and exhale. So keep that as your focus. And if bubbles and troubles pop up with your breath, push them away. Blow that cloud of trouble away. Blow away the stress. Put aside that to-do list. Put aside what came before yoga and what you need to do later. Notice how your jaw is softening. The space between the brow is lightening. Just an easy breath. Slowing down our heart rate. Feel a little bit more weighted in the hips and the glutes as you sort of let that part of the body sink into the seat of your chair. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, opening your eyes, placing hands gently on top of the quads, sitting tall. And I've said this recently in the last few classes, I say it in all my classes now that, you know, we verbalize a lot of our complaints and, our, and the issues that we have with our limitations. So it's really important to try to stay positive and you can't be positive about everything, but pick one thing to be positive about, one joyful thing and say it out loud to someone you love, a friend, a family member. So being joyful, even if it's for a short period of time and it's not in every moment of your day, but there's gotta be something that you can find joy and happiness and saying that out loud will really make a difference. I know I've got a little bit of sun coming in, so my image is not totally clear, but I think you can see enough of me. And certainly if you're hearing my voice, you can follow along. All right, so that joyful thought, whatever that might be for you, plan on sharing it later with a loved one. All right, let's just do some simple movements with our hands and wrists. So we're gonna start with blossom hands. So from hands flat, uh, palms down, we're gonna turn our hands so palms are resting uh, on the back, on our quads and the palms, excuse me, the back of the hands are on the, on the quads and the palms are facing up. We're going to go into blossom hands. So inhale, stretching fingers away and exhale, letting the fingers touch in towards the center of the hand. Very gentle movement, great way to stretch the hands open and then folding them back in. Nice range of motion, very simple, very calming. Inhale and exhale. So stretching fingers wide open. Exhale, letting them fold in. So they're blossom hands, like the, bloss the lotus blossom. So think of it almost as if it was time-lapse photography and uh, a flower is opening up slowly as the sun reaches it and it stretches and reaches for sunlight and warmth and exhale, the petals curl back in at night and as it gets darker and cooler and those petals find the warmth of the center of the flower. Inhale and exhale. And even though we're just moving our fingers in the center of the hand, just notice other parts of the body that are relaxing as we do this movement. Couple more, and then we'll come to stillness and shake out our hands. And maybe wiggle fingers, turn wrists in all kinds of directions. And one other thing I didn't say earlier, but I think you should all know, and I think you do know this, is to stay hydrated. Make sure you drink plenty of water during the course of the day. And anytime you need to take a break during yoga, feel free to you know, find a sip. All right, so let's go into our arms and shoulders and some neck movements. So <clears throat> once again, make sure you're seated uh, comfortably so your feet are anchored into your floor. Sitting tall, we'll do some shoulder rolls. First, we'll go back, inhale and exhale. So inhale, shoulders come up close to your ears and then you widen them back and then drop them down. Inhale and exhale as you do this movement. A few more. Now we'll place our hands, fingertips onto the shoulders. 
So all that shoulder movement was back. And now it's, um, by putting fingertips on the shoulders, it makes that movement forward a little bit more accessible. So inhale, elbows point out. Exhale, elbows come forward and come down. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale, elbows up and out to the side. Bring them together in the front of you, then they drop down. So we've got the whole range for that shoulder girdle. Tend to get tight there. We've been sitting at a computer or driving or doing any forward movement in our life, whether it's gardening or sewing, knitting, playing cards, whatever. Everything is like this. So we need to open up. Nice wide collarbone. Release those hands back down to the quads. Take a breath here. Going to do a little bit of neck work and then we'll do the teapot series with the cactus arms. So here we go, sitting tall, and we're gonna tip our head over to the left side. Inhale, come to center, and exhale. Inhale, tall, and then exhale, tipping over to your right side. Slowly. And if you need the assistance of a hand to come back up from side, use your fingertips to bring your head back up. Just doing our side bends of the neck, stretching. You might actually feel the sensation of letting that opposite arm pull away. Inhale and exhale. And open the mouth a little bit, stretch the jaw as you do these as well. Couple more. Nice and slow. And we meet back in center. Let's interlace the fingers in front of you, lift them up, follow the gaze, follow your hands as they go up, let the gaze go up. Inhale, stretch the arms long, the shoulders can come up, scoop belly in, now drop shoulders down. And now place the hands behind the head. So I've kept my fingers interlaced and I'm cupping the back of my head. We're gonna bend forward with the chin. So first, wide ar arms are wide open, so letting those elbows point out to the side, lifting the chest. We go inhale, and then we exhale, tipping the chin down. That, the hands are guiding the back of the head. And maybe you like to hold the stretch. Inhale and exhale. So the chin is towards the chest or the sternum, whatever that stretch range is for you. And then we push our head into the hands as we make our Way back up to seated tall. Press the head into the hands and the hands into the head. Lifting, looking up. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna curl, bringing our chin down towards the chest once again. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, let's come up slowly. Press head into hands, hands into the head. So you feel that nice opening right into the pectoral in the upper arm area. Last time, looking up, and then exhale, tip down again. And coming back up, release the arms down. Your shoulder roll, whether it's back or forward, hands to here, shake all that out. Going into the teapot series, teapot series, that means our arms are up in square cactus, palms face away from you. Anytime you need to drop your arms down, feel free to do that. So from cactus, you can just let the hands come to the waist or drop the arms down. Because it's a bit of work for the deltoids, which is a nice way to you know, build up that upper body part of your arm. So here we go. Arms are apart. That's your inhale. And exhale, the arms come together. Inhale, open. Let the chest lead. And exhale, close. You can do this with your eyes closed if you feel like it's stretching back a bit more. And then we come together. Inhale and exhale. Let's do one more stretching. Open, lift the chest. Exhale, bringing the arms together. Drop the arms down. Take a breath. Inhale and exhale. So now we're going to go into the twist, bringing those back, arms back up into cactus. Sitting tall, scoop the belly, inhale apart, bring your right arm to the left. Inhale, open, 
and your left goes to the right. Inhale, open, exhale, twist, inhale, open, exhale, it's just back and forth. And if you're not on the same side with me, it doesn't matter since we are going to both sides. We'll do a couple more. Remember your good posture, sitting tall. And I think we'll finish up there and we release the arms down. Take a breath. Put the hands, uh, let the hands cup around the knees. Press the hands into those knees. Pull yourself a little taller. Scoop the belly. We'll do the last one, which is the teapot side to side with the cactus arms. But we'll take a breath here. All right. So you might be feeling a little bit of a burn or some really good work out there. Here we go. Back into cactus arms. Taking your breath in. Inhale. And then exhale, tipping to your uh, left side. Inhale, sitting tall. Exhale, tip to your right. Inhale, tall. Exhale. Inhale, tall. Exhale, a couple more. Inhale. If you're up for it, remember you can stop whenever you've had enough. And maybe one more to each side. So if you are, let's bring our arms down. Okay, let's take a breath here. So just a couple other reminders. If you tend to have vertigo or feel dizzy doing these post any posture, do them with your eyes open and find something to focus on that's straight ahead of you. That will help prevent dizziness because some of our moves are up and down and side to side. And the best thing to do is to keep your eyes wide open when we do those moves. All right. So we've worked on our neck, we've done our upper arms, we've done our shoulders. So now we're going to go into our um, little bit of range of motion for our spine. So just adjust yourself so you're forward and the feet are flat into your mat or floor. And we're going into seated cow and cat, sitting tall, we come forward. I have my hands on my quads and I lean forward, chin is up, slight arch in the back. And then exhale, round the back, tip the chin. Seated cow and cap. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, round back. Inhale, forward. Again, this range is good for all of us, wherever we are, whether you have a big, big range or just a shallow range. It's not that, it's just getting some movement done and we bring ourselves tall. Inhale and exhale. Let's go into our side bends. Inhale, arms up overhead, and then exhale, tip over to your left side. So here's where the leg of the chair can help or the seat of the chair to hold on to as you bend over. Inhale, come through center and going over to your right side. Again, use that hand on that side hold on to the leg or the seat of your chair. Your count back and forth, inhaling and exhale, pulling yourself tall, slow and steady. Let the core, the center of the body do the work. Inhale and exhale. And when you've had enough, we meet back in center. All right. Wiggle, wiggle into your seat of the chair, sitting tall. And now we're going to go into our twist. And I'll just demonstrate if this is new to you or not sure what I'm going to, about to do. It's not that exotic. Inhale, the arms come up. And then we twist. We bring both arms over to our left side, keeping those eyes wide open. If you have any issues with dizziness, eyes wide open. Exhale, and then come through to the other side. Inhale, lift the arms up and then over back to the first side, whatever that was for you. Inhale, lift, exhale, twisting to your second side. Couple more, lift and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And we meet back in center, release those arms down. Sitting tall, exhale, inhale and exhale. And again, wiggling into our seat. All right, we're going to go into that little bit of footwork. 
So sit back in your chair now, before we do our leg lifts, we're going to give ourselves a massage of our feet. So we're going to go into a figure four stretch or crossing one ankle over the opposite quad muscle. So it doesn't matter which side you're on, we're doing both sides. Once you've crossed your uh, leg and foot over, put the thumbs towards the arch of the foot and let those thumbs massage your foot going forward. The fingertips are on the top of the foot and just give yourself a nice stroke in there. Inhale and exhale. And then we move our fingers towards the ball of the foot and the thumbs towards the ball of the foot and the fingers on the top. And we're reaching for, towards the toes, wiggle around those toes, each and every one, get the blood flowing into the bones, into the ligaments. There are 27 bones in each of our feet. So we've got to be good to our feet. They do a lot for us. And there's a lot of little things going on in there. So we want to make sure everything is moving nice and warming it up. And then maybe when you finish, give a nice tap, creating a little bit of a vibration and nice sensation there. And now gently replace that leg down. Be good to the leg. All right, let's go to the other side lifting it up, crossing it over. So if that bony part of the ankle is pressing into the quad and it's uncomfortable, either slide the leg out a little bit more or take your pillow or blanket and make sure that bony part isn't making it uncomfortable to cross that leg. So take a moment sitting tall with that crossed leg, inhale and exhale. And then we take our thumbs to the arch of the foot and give ourselves a bit of a massage, a stroke, Move the thumbs forward towards the ball of the foot. Take your time, don't rush. Yoga is not a competitive sport and it's not a rushed activity. We take our time, really feel how our body is doing, connecting it with the breath. Inhale and exhale. So when you're done with that, tap, tap, tap on each side of the foot. Get a little bit of warmth and stimulation going. And gently lift that leg as if it was a fragile item. Bring that leg down. It is fragile. It's good. Okay. Here we go. We're going to stretch our arms up. We do alternate arms. Then we're going to add legs. So let's just sit tall once again, stretching your left arm straight up. Inhale and exhale. Now we're going to bend the elbow and cross it over. Inhale up, exhale, cross over to the other side. Inhale, stretch way, bend the arm and cross it over. Inhale, stretch, exhale, cross over. Last time, inhale, stretch, bend the arm, elbow towards the opposite leg and release. Let's go to the other side, stretching. Reaching tall and long with that arm. Inhale and then exhale, cross it over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cross over. Inhale and exhale. And release it down. All right. So now we're going to add the, li the leg lift. All right. So arm, first arm goes up. It's her left arm, stretching it long. Inhale, exhale, bend the elbow and lift the leg. Doesn't have to be high. Now we're not look necessarily looking for touching, but hmm? like so it, it's the opposite. We're doing oh. crossing. So uh, left arm, right leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, arm is away. Exhale, knee and knee and elbow come close together. Inhale. Last one. And release the arm down. All right, going to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Just take a few breaths. Get yourself centered, prepping. Lifting your right arm up long and strong. Inhale. Bend the elbow and the lift the knee. Inhale, exhale. Use the seat of the chair to hold on to if that helps you stay steady.
Couple more. Last one. And release that arm down. Make sure both feet are down. Okay. So now let's um, go back to our feet by just tapping the floor in front of you. Sit back in your chair. We're going to lift the legs. So you may want a little bit more support by sitting back into the chair. Put the hands on the seat of the chair or the leg. We're going to lift the legs out in front of us. Doesn't have to be high. I'm just turning. So those might point to what I'm doing on the screen. So my legs are up and they just come back down. I'm just going to do a gentle swing. The tall. As you sit tall, just notice the rib cage is lifted out of the waist and the chest is high. Couple more. And bringing the feet back down. All right, let's alternate with the feet. We're gonna stick one leg out and circle the ankle in one direction and reverse that. Point and flex that foot. Feeling that work in the quad and lowering that leg down. Let's go to the other side. Second leg, let it come up. Circle the ankle in both directions. First one direction and then the alternate direction. And point and flex that foot. And release that leg down. Okay, so we have that. You have a block or a paper towel roll. We're going to lift our legs. We're going to use that first. We're going to use that block or paper towel roll. Place the block lengthwise, tape a paper towel lengthwise between your legs and um, sit a little bit more forward in your chair. So we want to put a little bit of pressure as we bring those legs in together. So take your time as you got your block or paper towel roll lengthwise. First sit tall, and I'm sitting a little bit more forward in my chair. That way I have, I can really squeeze my legs together. Sit tall, inhale and exhale. So holding the block softly or the paper towel roll softly. And then on your exhale, we can bring the legs in a little bit more. So inhale, soften the legs, exhale, squeeze the legs together with that block or paper towel roll. If you like and feel secure, place your hands on that block. Inhale, soften, exhale, squeeze the legs together. So we're working on adduction, meaning the interior side of the quads. Inhale and exhale. It's a part of the leg that doesn't get a whole lot of work. Inhale and exhale. And notice as you're squeezing the legs, you're also getting a little bit of work in the glutes. So double benefit. Couple more. And soften, all right. So now we're gonna keep that paper towel roll or block in between our legs. I'm gonna sit back a tiny bit more because now we're going to squeeze together and lift the feet gently off the floor, not a high lift. So holding on, you can hold on to your chair. Here we go. We're squeezing and we're lifting. Inhale and exhale, your count. Where do you feel that work? In the lower part of the abdominal wall is getting a little bit of work. It's like a little reverse curl. As you lift the leg, squeeze that block or paper towel roll. Couple more or finish when you've had enough. All right, release. And soften, move the uh, paper towel roll or block out of your way. And we are going to go into um, our seated tree pose. So come a little more forward in your chair, place your left foot firmly on the mat, sitting tall. And you're gonna take your, excuse me, your, pardon me, your right foot is flat on the floor. Turn out on your left. So the sole of the foot can touch onto the calf muscle. 
Maybe it's the arch of the foot. Maybe you can turn out even more, doesn't matter. Anyway, we're balancing on one foot, even though we're seated, this is still a balance pose. Rib cage is in, rib, and a rib cage is lifted and the belly is in. When you're ready, lift your arms. Inhale and exhale. Breathing. And we release the arms and let that leg go down. Take a breath, we'll go to the other side. Make sure that both glutes are anchored into your chair. Scoop the belly in and lift your right foot. Right foot is up and your left foot is down. Seated tree. Inhale and exhale. Arms can be up on a diagonal, they can be out at the side. You can actually even bring your hands to heart center if that feels good. Inhale and exhale. And we release down. All right, just wiggle, grab a sip of water if you need to. Then we'll do a couple other seated poses by turning in their chair a tiny bit. So if you have things next to you, move them out of the way. All right, so we're going to turn to the your left side. So just swivel in your seat. That left foot is going to point off to the side. And you're going to turn, so you're a little bit of a twist. Bring the other leg back behind you, so you're on the ball of the foot. So we're doing a modified warrior one pose. So I've just gone from seated facing you with both hips centered, and then I'm going to twist a little bit. So now my, it's my right, but your left foot is pointing away. Foot is flat. The other leg is kicking out behind us on the side. A little bit of a swivel. Once you've arrived where it's comfortable for you, sit a little taller, let the chest come up, feel a slight arch in the back, and we lift our arms up. A warrior one pose. Inhale and exhale. You can interlace the fingers and point the index up. Index fingers are pointed, other fingers are interlaced. Looking up at the ceiling, arch back. Inhale and exhale. And we release the arms down and we swivel back into forward position on the chair. And then we'll go to the other side. So now we're gonna to swivel to the opposite side. This time your, your left, or my, your right, my left, is pointing away to the side, just moving my chair out of the way. And I'm going to kick that other left leg behind me or as best as I can. So we're opening up, we're getting a nice opening in the hip flexor. Take a breath as you set up your legs. Once your legs are set, lift the arms up, stretching them, stretch fingers nice and wide. Inhale and exhale, bring the hands together, interlace the fingers, leave the index point, the fingers pointed, Look up at your hands, inhale and exhale, and we look up, maybe a slight arch to the back. And we release the arms down and bring yourself back to center and shake out the legs. Okay. All right, so let's do some forward folds. And now this is where you'll wanna use your pillow you have a pillow or a bolster, put it on your lap. Set yourself up again so your feet are flat on the floor in front of you. Push that pillow in towards the belly. Let the forearms come down on it. Press those forearms down. And as you're pressing the forearms down, pull the shoulders down, lift the chest. Inhale and exhale, come forward. See so if you can come forward with as much of a flat back as possible. Inhale and exhale. Once you fold it forward to the point where you can, can't go any further, let the head drop down. Once the head starts to drop down, the back rounds. Just notice that. You can widen your feet a little bit more than having them together. That also gives adds a little bit more support. 
inhale and exhale. Take your time to come back up to seated. So we're gonna bring our, if your feet are wide, sort of wiggle them back towards each other, maybe about hip distance apart. Press those forearms into your pillow in front of you, flattening the back so the head starts to come up. Inhale and exhale, press hands into your pillow, pull yourself tall. And take a breath or two here. Inhale and exhale. We'll do that one more time. Take a breath. Sitting tall, scoop the belly, and we come forward slowly. Those hands, forearms pressing in really support you. It actually almost feels like we're doing something called Sphinx. So it's an upper body strength as well as a forward fold. Flat back as you come forward. And then we let the head go down. Back rounds as your chin touches towards your chest. Just notice. Pressing the hands and arm, forearms into that pillow. Bring yourself back to tall. See how slow you can go. Slower is stronger. And we make our way back to seated. And you may move that pillow off to the side. And now we're going to go back to an arm and then a leg movement. We're going to go into cow face pose with the arms and then we'll add the legs. Starting with your left arm, stretch that long, pull yourself tall, bend at the elbow, press the head into that forearm, inhale and exhale, taking your right arm, reaching across, reach for the tricep lifting the chest a bit more, slight arch in the back. Inhale and exhale. And release the arms down. We go to the other side. Stretching your right arm up, bend the elbow. Inhale and exhale and reaching across for the tricep. Press the head in, nice side body stretch. A stretch in the pectoral, just all that side body work feels nice. Again, you can modify by not going all the way, by placing the hand maybe at the wrist and releasing the arms down. We're gonna do that again with the arms, but this time we're adding the legs. So it's a little bit of a, so again, if depending on the length of your legs and the height of your chair, we're going to cross your left leg over the right so now we're sitting as if our legs are crossed. Sometimes we do this. And we're see if you can tuck the toes behind the calf or the ankle. So it's not only a crossing, crossing leg, but if that top foot can sort of twist behind and under the back, the back side of the, of the bottom leg. Sit tall. So now our legs are crisscrossed. Inhale and exhale. Taking your right arm straight up and bending it again. So here we're going into a cow face pose, both the legs and arms reaching across. So this type of a pose is not a movement, but we, once we've arrived in our pose, we're sitting tall and just focused on the breathing. It's considered a bind. Inhale and exhale. It's a strength and flexibility. Now we're gonna to start to unwind our arms lowering them down and gently lift that top leg off and down. And we'll wiggle a little bit into our seat and we will go to the other side. So this time the opposite leg here with me, it would be your right leg is gonna cross over the left. Once it's crossed, see if you can make your way to getting that, those toes behind. Now, everybody's flexibility is different. You may not get there, that's all right. As long as you make an effort. Once you get your legs established, sitting tall, you're gonna lift your left arm straight up. Inhale and exhale, bend the arm and reach across. And here we are in our bind. Inhale and exhale, sitting tall. And we unwind on the arms and unwind the legs. All right. 
All right, we're going to start to slow it down and do a little bit more work on our breath and some uh, a bit of meditation. <clears throat> so before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of thymus tapping. So you can either go skin to skin, or if your top is up high, it doesn't matter. It's the fingertips that are going to be right around the low part of the neck and the front, the collarbones in the center there. And just gent closing your eye. If you feel safe to close your eyes, do so. If not, keep your eyes wide open. Just gently tapping. And if you're in, whether you're in a space by yourself or other, just start to hum. Mm -hmm. Feel that vibrational sensation right along that thymus and the collarbones and even going down the sternum, the center of the chest. Gently tapping and creating some vibration. All right, finishing that. Now we're going to let those fingertips go up our neck, gently tapping, whole neck up to the jawline, opening the mouth a little wider, and letting those fingertips tap right along the side of the face, up to the temples to the forehead, maybe down into the center of the forehead. See if the muscles there are softened. Hopefully by now, all those worries and stresses for this yoga time are past and you are totally in the yoga zone and a smile is on your face and start to release the fingertips, shake out the hands. And now we'll go into that stroking pose, which is also really great for relaxation. Bringing the arms out wide, stretching them. And you're gonna bring your left arm across to the right and just gently stroke from wherever you can reach. Maybe your reach is to the wrist, maybe it's not. Just stroke across, bringing that arm all the way across the center of the body. Yeah. Feel these so gently. A couple more on this side, and then we'll switch to the other. And we release, and we go to the other side. Bringing your right arm across to the left side, stroking in towards the heart. And maybe one more. And relax. All right. So <clears throat> as promised, we're going to go into that little bit of visual imagery with our eyes closed. If you're feeling comfortable, if you're not comfortable with eyes closed, look out your window or look at something pleasant in the space that you're in. So if you're with me and feel comfortable with eyes closed, Turn the hands so palms are facing up, resting gently on your thighs. So remember we were in a very peaceful place, place that brings peace and ease. As you visualize that space, think about things that you can see. So say you're in a garden, what do you see? Maybe you're at the seashore. What are the visuals? that you can imagine in your mind's eye, things that are peaceful and pleasant and bring joy. Next, think about what you can hear. What things do you hear in your special place that are pleasant? music, laughter, birds. What are you hearing? It's a pleasant sound. And what are you smelling? What are the pleasant smells that are in your special place? And the things that you would add to thinking about 
what you can smell that are pleasing. Maybe it's some wonderful bread baking. Maybe it's the smell of the salt air or a beautiful flower. Inhale and exhale. Now think about what you can touch. What is it in your special place that has a lovely sensation of touch? Be that warm sand at the beach, it could be a petal of a flower, it could be the softness of your clothes. Something that you touch that brings peace and ease. And finally, what do you taste? What kind of special tastes bring a sense of peace and ease? Maybe just smelling those, that wonderful bread baking. Maybe it's a wonderful piece of bread out of the oven. Maybe it's a brownie or your favorite ice cream flavor. What are you tasting? This just, just brings you joy. So we've touched on all five of our senses, our sight, our hearing, our sense of taste and smell and touch. So hopefully that helps to bring down your heart rate, bring a sense of calmness, peace and ease. We'll do one other exercise that also is nice for bringing down um, our sense of stress and anxiety. And that is just looking at our hands and then we will be doing thumb to index, thumb to middle finger, thumb to ring finger and thumb to pinky. And thinking about um, ideals or ideas that bring us ease. So once again, turning your hands to the palms are facing up. Sometimes in yoga that's referred to as a sense of sending your positive energy out. So with those hands stretched, uh, palms facing up, bring your thumb and index finger together. And this is for calmness. Inhale and exhale. And next thumb is gonna reach for the index, for the middle finger, excuse me. So thumb and middle finger touch, inhale and exhale. And this is for patience. Sometimes that's hard to find. Inhale and exhale. And next we're going to bring thumb to the index, to the ring finger. Thumb and ring finger touch. And this is for confidence. And finally, the thumb and pinky finger meet. And this is for intuition. Intuition, what you innately know and feel. which is a lot. Inhale and exhale. And if your eyes are closed, slowly open them up. And we will do a few more stretches and then finish up with, um, we'll do another forward fold. So sitting back in the chair, just wiggle in once again. Reach up with the arms up overhead, stretching. Interlace the fingers, all of them this time, and then flip the palms so they're stretching away. Nice full body, upper body stretch, letting those arms go up. Let the shoulders go up. Let the rib cage go up. Reach, 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 reach away. Inhale and exhale. Then let those fingers uh, separate. Slowly let the arms drop down. And now sitting back, let's stretch those legs long. Point and flex. Lifting those feet off your floor, 
Inhale and exhale, keeping those legs up if you can, stretch the arms away, full body stretch. Lift the chest as you rest your head on the back of the chair. That feels safe. Inhale and exhale. And releasing the arms down, let the feet touch down. Move a little bit more forward in your chair. We're gonna keep your right foot on the floor, pressing that in, interlace the fingers, lift the left knee, put your hand over your shin and pull that knee in towards your chest, lifting your chest tall, long, inhale and exhale. So we're folding our leg in, Inhale and exhale. Gently release that leg. We'll go to the other side. Keeping those fingers interlaced, we're gonna lift that right leg, pressing in, pulling yourself tall. Inhale and exhale. And release. And similar to what we did when we were giving ourselves a foot massage, we're gonna cross one leg over the other, coming into a figure four stretch. So once again, if that bony part of the ankle is tender onto the quad, either move the leg off a bit further or use a blanket or towel underneath. So with that crossed leg, place your, the, um, your left leg is crossed or whichever leg it is, the same hand is gonna press mm -hmm. gently right above the knee to square off that leg. Hold your Belly in, lift chest, inhale and exhale. Now bring the forearm to the top of the leg. Lean forward towards that leg. Come flat and then round. Bringing yourself tall. Inhale and exhale and gently let that leg come down. We go to the other side. Wiggle into this position. You may notice that one hip is a little tighter than the other. Just something to notice. Sitting tall. Inhale and exhale. Bringing the forearm to rest comfortably on the uh, lower leg as you lean forward into this figure four stretch. Folding over as it feels good. And we bring ourselves tall. And we release that leg down. All right, let's set ourselves up for relaxation pose. So you all have either a blanket or a pillow. Place that back on your lap. Bring the forearms on top of the pillow. And as we've been keeping our core engaged this whole time, we're now gonna let the core relax. Let your belly soften, leaning forward on towards that pillow. Forearms can slide a little bit more out in front of you. Once you've arrived there, you can fold into that pillow if that feels safe and good, and then tip the head down. Just rounding over the pillow in front of you or bolster, whatever prop you have. You could even be using that paper towel roll to have right around your belly. And we fold down and we soften. We do a body scan from head to toe. Again, if you feel safe to keep your eyes closed, do that. Nice long inhales and exhales. And feeling the neck stretch. Arms and shoulders are softening, belly is soft, legs are relaxed. 
focus just on the breath. Take your time. We're going to move ourselves out of this folded position, back up to seated, but we wanna go as slow as we can. Our head has been down now for a bit. Keeping the chin tucked, and we'll try to let the head come up last. So pushing your glutes into the seat a bit more, start to engage the core again, use that strength to pull the torso up, keeping the chin slightly tucked, the back comes up, head stays down, arms slide closer in, and then bring the head back up. Inhale and exhale. So if you'd like to move the pillow off your lap, we'll sit tall in our seat. Let's bring our hands together, heart center, thumbs pressing towards the sternum. Again, just the breath. Inhale and exhale. Feel the crown of the head reaching towards the ceiling. Bring your mind's eye to a peaceful place place that brings peace and ease. And that joyful thought that you brought into your mind, remember to share that with a loved one today. Say it out loud. Inhale and exhale. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Namaste.